Hi, I'm Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God and today is the first in a series of uh, bringing revival to America, what your part is, or any other country, but God specifically said America and that's where I am. So it's about bringing revival to America and what we need to do. First of all, God said the first thing that we need to do is to get hungry, to get hungry enough for revival, uh, to put aside every weight and every hindrance and everything that slows you down. If you're really hungry for something, you're going to focus on that. And God said that whatever you focus on will be multiplied back to you. So if you're focusing on TV and or the news, then that fear and that information will be focused, uh, will, will be given back to you, will be multiplied to you. That's why the Bible says in the so or so is the word, Mark 4, that um, he who has ears to hear, let him hear, and that the more that you focus on something, the more will come back to you, 30, 60, or 100 fold. And he wants you to focus on the kingdom of God. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and these things will be added to you. So number one thing is, how hungry are you for revival? How desperate are you to be healthy, whole, prosperous? How tired of you are you of not being able to pay your bills, not being able to prosper? How tired of you of taking medication because your blood pressure is up, because of all the stress, worried you're going to lose your house? How desperate are you? Number one is get desperate. Number two is prayer. But I'm not talking about everyday prayer because that won't do it. I'm talking about praying in the Spirit. Now, in one of my other videos, we're going to talk about praying in the Spirit, praying in tongues, and the Holy Spirit, and what that's all about. But right now, God just wants me to share with you the things you can do to bring revival to you. Now, the thing that helped me write this book is praying in the Spirit. God showed me the more I focus in praying in the Spirit, the more I'll reap a harvest of revelation knowledge. And you hear and understand the Word by revelation knowledge. You cannot read the Word and get it without the Holy Spirit. Okay, so he says, one of the things that's going to be contested against and fought against and has always been fought against is speaking in tongues because it is so powerful. Now, if speaking in tongues is of the devil, it will be done in bars. It's of God, and like I said, we'll talk about that later. But number two is spending time speaking in tongues. Now, I started doing this by setting a 10-minute timer and just praying in tongues for 10 minutes. When that was up, I went to 10 more minutes, 10 more minutes, 10 more minutes. Uh, and my goal is to pray in tongues an hour each day. I don't really do that every day, uh, but that's my goal, and sometimes I do more than that. So number two, pray, pray, pray. Praying in tongues gets past your mind. You don't know what to pray like you should, but the Holy Spirit does. And when you pray in tongues, you build up yourself in faith and keep yourself in love, and you allow the Holy Spirit to get past your mind and pray His perfect will. Okay, so number two, praying in tongues. Number three, worship. <clears throat> This end time revival is going to have, is all centered about the relationship you have with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. He is the star of this revival. He is the most important thing in this revival. His presence on flesh. Okay, so number, uh, number one is get hungry and desperate. Number two, pray in the Spirit. And number three is the Holy Spirit. Just remember the Holy Spirit Praise and worship brings the presence of the Holy Spirit. So actually, number three is praise and worship. And just get into God's presence through praise and worship. Bring His presence onto the scene anytime, any place. You can heal people, grow out legs, do all kinds of awesome stuff when you know how to get into God's presence. And that's through praise and worship. Okay? Number four is, it said, seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Also, awake to righteousness and sin not. If you're thinking, because so number four is righteousness, you have to understand who you are in Christ and that you are the righteousness of God. And we'll cover that in one of the chapters because that is very, very important to understand you are righteous and Jesus made you righteous. Okay, so you need to get understanding on your righteousness. And number five, God said, seek first the kingdom of God. God said that um, the king, this kingdom of God shall be preached, then the end shall come. The kingdom of God is just now beginning to be preached through uh, Bill Winston. He has awesome revelation of the kingdom of God. Um, Miles Monroe has awesome information about the kingdom of God. 
um, those are the most important things to start doing to bring revival to America and other countries. And that's all I'm going to share in this video clip because I probably went too long. My name is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God.